Hi, this is Samantha and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make a date time picker, a date picker, sorry, not a time, a date picker with Element Plus UI and Vue.js and we're going to play around with it. Okay, so this is the date picker that I have selected and I'm going to copy the code. Okay, I'm going to copy the code and paste it in my Vue.js application. Uh, I'm using Vite with Vite plugin. I love using Vite. Okay, as you can see, there's squiggly lines in here, and and there's squiggly lines in here. And this is um that that gets rid of the squiggly lines. And of course, we need to install install. We definitely need to install this. So. npm install uh, and we have to use it in our application now for Vite, it is very simple all we need to do is install it and now i'm going to make it global but if you're only using vue.js i think you would have to add uh this in your you need to add the script source in your index.html file but because i'm just using Vite. Only these, I just have to install it and make it global. So right now I have to make it global, okay? Because if I don't make it global, what happens is that I would have to import it every time I use it in a component. So, oh wait, this app.use element class. So every time I use it in a component, I would have to make it global. So uh, let's start this application, okay? Let's see what it looks like. All right, um, okay, this is blank. Oh, okay, I did not add the component in app.view, okay? So we have no view. Stage component. Components state component dot view state component state component and um yeah i only want to work with the first let me see i only want to work with this uh, this state picker this one if you understand how this one works you don't need to we don't need this, and we don't also need the large default small. Okay, we don't need this. So let me get rid of it. As you can see, the first block has value one. This is the one we need to get rid of. Let me get rid of it. And these are the radio groups. Okay, these are the radio groups that we need. We can get rid of. Get rid of the entire div. And now let let us see what it looks like. Okay, and now let me get rid of any of the elements from here. As you can see this is um, this is composition API. This is not. I, I think this is composition API. This is not options API. You know, options look like this. I think. All right, so. We got rid of everything. V model, if you understand Vue.js, you definitely know what a V model is. A V model works with an input element. As you can see, this is nothing but an input element that was designed and customized by Element Plus. So this is an input and it has a V, that's why a V model is going to work in here. So a V model is nothing but the value inside the input element. So here I'm going to put the value, okay? And let's see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see this is the value of the entire input element. All right. So in V model, we have two elements. This is looks like an array, right? It's an array with two elements in it. So how do we separate the two elements? What if I need only the first element and not the second one? So here, 
can we do this? Let me see. Okay, we got the first element and not the second one. And can we do this? Okay, now we got the second element. And the second element is always going to be today's date because what about uh, value to zero? All right, let me see the first element. Last month is August 17, today is... Okay, what about if we want to use moment.js, if we want to use moment.js with this, I don't like new date. Let me use moment.js with this. So control C, npm install moment, okay? Now uh, we're installing moment. Let's say the package.json, okay, moment and install. And let me fix this so that I use moment in here. Import moment from moment. And in here, I want to have today's date, last week and last month, okay? Today and use moment dot format. This is the format I want to use. I think this is the default format and I'm wasting my time writing all this. The year, month, and date. Okay, whatever, I'll still, you know, use it. It could be the default format. Uh, let me see. All right. Is it the default format? Let me remove this. Let's check what it looks like, okay? Uh, here. So, wait. I think it's supposed to be hot reloading, you know? What happened? All right. I was not... Hmm. Okay, it's working. Okay, it's working. Uh, this is, it's the default format is this. Yes, this is the default format. Okay, let me change the default format. Sorry. Let me format it this way and, and here, this way. Okay, so this I want last week. Last week. And in here, the end date is always going to be today's date, you know, because, yes, uh, six days ago. Last week would be six days ago. Um, and in here... I love working with moment.js. I don't like any other date library or anything. It's, it's perfect. Format. Uh, okay. Now let me get rid of it. And last month. Last month. So again, the end date is always going to be today's date. And last month would be, hmm, it would be 30 days, but I'm guessing, you know, 30 days ago. But what if it's like a 31st month? Then I think I have to tweak some changes in this, like an if else statement, right? Because if it's a 31st month, then what happens? Okay, so moment dot subtract uh, 30 days dot format okay. 
Okay. Let's see what it looks like now. It's supposed to be supposed to look good uh, today. Okay, today's date, first value, and then last month, and hmm, it's a 31st or a 30th month. Okay, so that is not important in here. Um, uh, right now, as you can see, it's very easy and very simple to work with date component, date picker component from Element Plus. Uh, Element Plus is a library. It's a great UI library, and they have all these cool stuff in here that I want to show you how to work with. And I have used Element Plus, uh, Plus a lot, and I absolutely love it. And, oh, wait, custom, okay, I absolutely love it, and I hope you had fun learning about it. Take care.